being has left all his desires eating, drink, all the natural things as I was talking about earlier like the natural things that we do in the 11 months of the year eating, drinking, sexual relations and everything else this person has left it for the sake of Allah and only in fasting this happens no other form of ibadah this happens only one other form of ibadah but the time is very short it's a very small uh, you know the, the time for that worship is very small every other form of ibadah when you give zakat do you leave all your desires? can you, you can be drinking you know, a can of coke and giving money zakat okay in hajj well, I'm coming to that. In Hajj, in, uh, if you're in Ahram as well, okay, not all the desires are forbidden. Intimate relations with one's spouse is forget, uh, sorry, forbidden, but you can still eat, you can still drink. All the desires are not forbidden. There's only one form of ibadah. Which one? Salah. Prayer. In prayer, you can't eat, you can't drink, you can't talk. You, of course, relations and things like that. Everything's haram in prayer. But the duration of it is very less. Five minutes, seven minutes. This is from right in the morning dawn till sunset. So this is the reason why fasting is exclusively, and this is why straight away the Messenger of Allah said, relating from Allah, that fasting is for me, uh, it is for me, and I will reward it because in Nahu, because this person taraka shahwatahu, he has taamahu, he has left his food, his drink, his desires for my sake. So. This, this, this is why. And then the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam relating this hadith, what did he say? Remember the hadith? Two forms of happiness for the fasting person. How many forms of happiness? Two. Farhatan. Farhatun inda fitrihi. It's good to be happy. There's nothing wrong to be happy at the time of iftar and kubur. The happiness, of course. You are happy on the kind of blessings of Allah. Allah has provided you and us with risk, with food, with halal and tayyib food, nice, just even a cold glass of water, fasting person is happy. Okay? قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُ On the ni'mah and gift of Allah, Muslims should rejoice and be happy. Whenever there is a gift from Allah, should be happy. And number two, happiness is عِنْدَ لِقَاءِ رَبِّهِ when he meets his Lord. When he meets his Lord. This is in the next life. Because he will see he will see the rewards that have been gathered and preserved for him in the next life. So there will be a great happiness when we, inshaAllah, go in the next life. And due to our fasting, when we see the reward that Allah has gathered for us, there will be a, you know, it should be a means of happiness for us. And then the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa in that hadith, what did he say? That خلوف فم الصائم أطيب عند الله من ريح المسك You know the bad odor in the mouth. You remember bad odor? Imam Nawi rahimahullah mentions that the bad odor of the mouth happens because of many reasons. Sometimes because of eating something that has a foul smell to it, like onions and garlic and butter. And number two, or not speaking for a long time, Some, uh, a prolonged silence also causes bad odor, and maybe uh, and not eating as well, and some other reasons. So that happens without a doubt. There's nothing wrong with it. Some people, you know, they feel bad. Why is it bad odor? Why I'm fasting? You know, some people like one brother asked me once, "Can I use that mint siwak? You know, the siwak you get. Can I use the mint one? You know, just just to keep my mouth fresh." Remember that this whole month is like, you don't worry about the bad oil in your mouth. Afterwards, on the first day of Eid, just worry about everything, you know, just room yourself, 10 hours, next to the mirror, do whatever you want to do, clean yourself, everything. And these, this month is exclusively directed for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't worry about the bad smell, foul smell. Okay? I'm not saying we stay dirty and filthy, but you, we have to spend less time in worldly, mundane, regular activities. So, According to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this bad foul smell, bad odor from the mouth is like, is more pure, upliyab, more pleasant than rih al-misk, perfume, musk, just like the blood of the martyr 
is pure to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not impure. Mentioned in the, another hadith. Same, same, same analogy. And so this is one hadith, and there's many, many other hadiths. There's another one, Sahih Bukhari, and Sahih Muslim, the Messenger of Allah, Alaihi Wasallam said, Inna fil jannati baban yuqalu lahu arrayyan. Verily in Jannah and Paradise there's a door called arrayyan. Some people have a name called arrayyan. This is the name of a door in Jannah. لا يدخل يدخل فيه الصائمون لا يدخل فيه غيرهم ولا يدخل فيه إلا الصائمون only the fasting people will enter this exclusive door you know entrance only for people fasting people have somebody like that no it's there are you a fasting person okay go in you're not fasting sorry take the next entrance or something so this was specially um, exclusively for the fasting people and the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said من دخل فيه شريبا whoever enters that door then you know when you just enter, close by there's a pool. We'll drink from the pool. وَمَنْ شَرِبَ لَمْ يَظْمَ أَبَدًا And whoever drinks from the pool will never be thirsty again.